Have you ever wondered if there are planets out there that are bigger, better, and more extreme than Earth? Welcome to the world of super-Earths. Imagine an Earth on steroids, a planet up to twice the size of our home planet. We're talking about a world that could dwarf our Mount Everest and make our Pacific Ocean look like a kiddie pool. But size is just the beginning of the story. Now let's put Earth and super-Earth side by side. Our beloved Earth, with its diameter of roughly 8,000 miles may seem modest, compared to a super-Earth, which can be up to twice as large. These mammoth planets offer a tantalizing peek into the possibilities of the cosmos. As we plunge into the universe's vast expanse, we'll uncover the secrets of these colossal planets. So buckle up space enthusiasts, we're in for an exciting journey through the cosmos. Size is just the beginning, the atmospheres of these planets play a crucial role in their habitability. Earth, our home, is wrapped in a thin layer of gases, a cocoon that sustains life, dominated by nitrogen and oxygen with a pinch of other gases like argon and carbon dioxide, our atmosphere acts as a protective shield, blocking out most of the sun's harmful rays. It's also the mediator of our weather, allowing for the life-giving water cycle. Now let's imagine a super-Earth. These planets are larger and their atmospheres could be vastly different. Some may have thick, dense atmospheres potentially leading to strong greenhouse effects. Picture a planet where the temperature is perpetually high, creating a world of perpetual summer, but without the comfort of a gentle breeze. On the flip side, a super-Earth could also have a thin, wispy atmosphere. Here the conditions could be harsh, with frigid temperatures and violent winds whipping across barren landscapes. And yet, even in such extreme climates, there's the tantalizing possibility of life. The types of gases in a super-Earth's atmosphere could also differ from ours. We might find atmospheres dominated by hydrogen and helium or perhaps even more exotic gases. These differences could result in strange weather phenomena, like iron rain or glass storms, phenomena we can barely begin to imagine. The temperature on these super-Earths would depend heavily on their atmospheres. A thick atmosphere could trap heat keeping the planet warm, while a thin atmosphere could leave the planet at the mercy of space's cold void. Yet despite these extreme possibilities, scientists are optimistic. The diversity of atmospheres on super-Earths could provide a wide range of conditions, some of which might just be right for life. We might one day discover a super-Earth with an atmosphere that's not too thin, not too thick but just right. On super-Earths, things can get a bit more extreme, but isn't that the allure of the unknown, the thrill of discovery? As we continue to explore our universe, who knows what wonders await us out there? But what does this mean for life? Could super-Earths harbor exotic forms of life, different from anything we've ever seen? It's a tantalizing idea, isn't it? The concept that somewhere out there, in the vast expanse of the cosmos, there might be life forms that are completely alien to us, living on planets far larger than our own. Super-Earths, with their increased size and gravitational pull, have the potential to support a wide array of exotic life forms. Life as we understand it requires certain basic ingredients a source of energy, a stable environment and the right chemical elements. Super-Earths with their diverse atmospheres and potential for vast oceans could potentially meet these criteria in ways that are unimaginable on our home planet. In fact some scientists speculate that these behemoth planets could host life forms that have adapted to thrive under extreme conditions. Imagine organisms that can withstand intense heat or cold, or creatures that have evolved to survive in environments with high levels of radiation or pressure. Current research is focused on understanding the atmospheres of super-Earths, as this will provide crucial clues about their habitability. By analyzing the light from these distant worlds as they pass in front of their parent stars, scientists can determine what gases make up their atmospheres. This technique, known as spectroscopy, could potentially reveal the presence of life-sustaining elements such as oxygen, water vapor, and carbon dioxide. Another intriguing line of research involves the study of exoplanets' magnetic fields, which could serve as shields against harmful cosmic radiation. If a super-Earth has a strong magnetic field, it could potentially protect any life forms on its surface from the harsh realities of space. But, as exciting as these possibilities are, it's important to remember that we are still in the early stages of our understanding of super-Earths. These giant exoplanets are complex, mysterious, and full of potential surprises. Researchers are piecing together the puzzle of super-Earths, unlocking the mysteries of their composition and potential for habitability. As we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what incredible discoveries await us? The search for life on super-Earths is just beginning. 
Imagine a world where the sky is a different hue, where the plants are alien and the creatures are beyond our wildest imagination. This is not the realm of science fiction, but a potential reality in the distant corners of our universe, on planets known as super-Earths. In this future, we might gaze up at a sky painted with swirls of violet and indigo, the result of a different atmospheric composition. We might traverse landscapes filled with towering crystal-like trees, their leaves shimmering with colors unseen on our home planet, bathed in the light of a foreign sun. Imagine the creatures that might inhabit such a world. Perhaps, there are beings with flexible skeletal structures to withstand the increased gravity, or creatures that have evolved to harness energy sources we can barely comprehend. The possibilities are as vast as the universe itself. The cities of this super-Earth might be built into the very mountains, with infrastructure designed to withstand extreme weather conditions. Or perhaps the inhabitants live in harmony with their environment, with dwellings seamlessly integrated into the natural landscape, blurring the lines between the artificial and the organic. In this future humanity might not be bound to a single planet. We might become a multi-planetary species with communities thriving on distant super-Earths. Our knowledge, our culture, our very understanding of existence could expand exponentially as we learn from these new worlds and their unique challenges. But this is not a journey we can embark on alone. It would require the collective effort of our entire species, pushing the boundaries of technology, science, and our understanding of the universe. It would demand courage, curiosity, and a relentless desire for discovery. As we stand on the threshold of this future, we are reminded of our place in the grand scheme of the cosmos. We are but one species on one planet in one galaxy. Yet our potential is limitless. In the end, whether Earth or Super-Earth, one thing is certain. The universe is full of wonders waiting to be explored. So let's continue to reach for the stars, to dream, and to wonder. For in doing so, we do not just look outward, but inward, discovering not just new worlds, but new parts of ourselves.